Hey guys, Matt here, Home Farm Ideas, and um, I showed you how I gathered the uh, you know the little grubs and stuff. Um, actually, the big grubs. Um, as you can see, this is starting to dry out. Um, but there's a bunch of these grubs at the bottom here, and uh, you know you want to move them to a bigger bin um, so that they you know they can have some room to grow and it won't dry out as fast you need to keep the soil mo moist so I'm gonna set them up in this bin and this is the bin that I normally set them up in every year uh, I basically put some soil in there um, wet it down real good there's drainage holes in the bottom of this and then I just start uh, adding all the worms to this bin here and let them grow out for the uh, winter feed them any kind of veggie scraps I'm gonna put some grass and stuff on the top and um, you know let them go ahead and eat until they grow into nice fat worms for the spring or in the spring and then I can you know give them to my chickens over there so um, let's go ahead and do that alright so as you can see I got this filled up just about halfway and uh, I mean as you can see the soil in there is a lot more moist um, obviously I uh, took soil well, I took soil from my soil pile here, and um, it's already really good soil. Um, but the castings from these uh, grubs are going to uh, enrich the soil as well, uh, and then I use it in the spring. So I use the worms in the spring to feed to my chickens, which they already know what's up. And then, um, and then I use the soil in my gardens. So they're going to eat everything in here uh, because they're trapped in here, basically. So they're, you know, if they're really hungry, they'll eat everything in here all the plants leaves anything I put in here so and you can actually I don't know if you can hear them kind of like snap crackle pop the rice krispies uh, home farm ideas is in no way affiliated with rice krispies um, so yeah <laughs> do you guys hear them though sorry the camera's so close but I can hear them. So, anyways, let's go ahead and start pouring them in, and uh, see what. See if we can get get a count. Um, I think there's about 50 or 60 of them in here, um, but I'm really not sure. Yeah, this soil was dry, so they would have started dying. There's one there. There's another. Okay, so. They're going to start coming out now. There's babies in here and everything. And so basically what I do is I add them in there like this. Um, with what I've collected so far. And um, here comes the pile of them. <laughs> so basically I add all that in there. And, um, you know, they, they're going to dig down and they're going to go... And go down into the soil here, and uh, I basically just add all my food scraps and stuff like that, like my veggie scraps and stuff like that, and they eat all of it. Um, so you want to put something like this together. I mean, these things are huge too. You know, these are small ones. By the time spring comes, they're going to be, you know, a good uh, four times bigger than this. And as you can see, the chickens love them. So nice, uh, nice big grubs for the chickens. Nice chicken nuggets, I guess you could call these chicken nuggets. <laughs> and um, yeah, they're just gonna dig down in here, and you can put a whole pumpkin here. And if you get enough of them in here, you get like 200 of them. You put a whole pumpkin in here that's you know about hand size. They'll eat the whole thing in like two days. So um, that's fast. Um, and then I can water this down because, like I said, I have holes in the bottom of it and stuff. So. Yeah, little grub composter slash uh, little food for your uh, chickens. And um, you get uh, soil that's filled with castings from these worms. So anyway, um, if you like the, this video, uh, you can see more obviously on my channel. So join my channel. And then uh, you can join us at Home Farm Ideas on Facebook. And that's uh, facebook.com forward slash home farm ideas all one word 
it'll probably uh, I'll probably have the link in the description of this video as well and um, yeah come by we you know I'm just experimenting you know I'm just trying to learn uh, from what uh, the Lord has created and um, and uh, it's fun so anyway have a great day and uh, like always God bless and I'll see you guys soon Thank you, Lord, for what you're doing now. Thank you, Lord, for it.